this tricked out de-icer is different than those in the lower 48. And it can tackle the entire runway in one fell swoop. This is the Tyler Ice AD Series de-icer. Each arm is 50 feet long, twice as long as a standard de-icer. And they shoot a de-icing solution that acts like rock salt on a road. It keeps any snow or ice from sticking to the runway by melting it. The driver heads out to quickly spray the runway. The nozzle spray in every direction to coat the 100 foot wide section of the runway. It's a uh, 4,000 gallon capacity, 100 foot boom truck. It's time saving versus our other truck took two passes. We sprayed about a gallon and a half per thousand on the runway, and then basically we were traveling about 20 miles an hour. Coating the length of the two mile runway takes 2,000 gallons of the ice melting chemical potassium acetate, which is also used in other unusual applications. From IV fluids to a flavor additive for sauces, and at one time for mummification. For the Fairbanks Airport, the cost of keeping the runway clear of ice after a storm doesn't come cheap. A single application of chemical de-icer on the runway and surrounding taxiways cost a whopping $24,000. To do all of our big surfaces, we're looking at probably 4,000 gallons to do everything. One big and brutal storm requiring round-the-clock attention can break the bank. One whole storm cost me over $200,000 in chemical and sand. That's not overtime, that's not labor, that's not anything else. In just a matter of minutes, the runway is protected for hours from further ice buildup. 